This is a quick explanation on how to fix some um, intermittent problems with an optical smoke alarm going off. And this particular model is the uh, the EI166 optical alarm, which is mains powered with a 10-year lithium battery backup. They're one of the best optical um, smoke alarms that you can get. Um, in Australia, they're called the Brooks, but in actual fact, they're made in Ireland. And if you get them direct, then uh, you can get them a bit cheaper. Uh, we've had a problem just recently after two years of uh, faultless um, operation just uh, in the middle of the night as always there was a couple of uh, intermittent um, sensors going off uh, on one particular alarm and it was found that there was a uh, spider managed to make his way inside the sensor so uh, we'll just show you how to quickly clean out and make sure that there's nothing living in where the uh, sensor element is so that you get false alarms because there's absolutely nothing wrong with the uh, smoke detector itself so we'll, we'll just pop the back off and I'll show you what we're looking for there's only two screws holding it together and underneath here is the sensor area so we'll just take this little cover off and to get the um, this cover off here there's two little clips which push to the, to the side so if I'm holding it towards me like this I push the little clip just to the left and that will unhinge it that's one end and the other end here you can just push this one just to the left and that's up so as this comes up what we've got here is the sensor area and there's a little fence, a little gauze fence that goes right the way around which keeps the bugs out or supposed to keep the bugs out and inside there that glass bead is the optical element which senses any movement be it uh, a bug or a smoke particle now the net does a quite a good job but we are in the tropics of North Queensland and the bug infestation in the tropics is quite prolific and they are unbelievable and they get in everywhere and uh, as good as this stuff is it actually has curved a little bit which actually leaves a little bit of a gap for some of the smallest critters to get in so um, basically just by popping that cover off giving it a blast out if you've got an airline or something like that or a can of compressed air uh, you can give it a good clean out and there's also a cover here that just lifts off and just basically there could be bugs hiding underneath any of these areas so give it a good blast out give the cover a blast out as well and also give the lid and pop it all back together just make sure that the net that goes around the edge is uh, in good in good condition and that the edges are down snug over the over the edges of the wall just so that there's nowhere for the bug to get back in now to pop this uh, give it a blow out this one's pretty clean and I'm not going to use the airline now because it's pretty clean now I've got a little gap here which is the reset button there's the button sensor there and what we've got to do is get this little plastic plastic thing there on the outside of the net so the net just pushes in slightly to allow this test button to uh, go back inside so what I'll do is just pop that back together two clips down that's it this little plastic tube pops over the green light and that's to funnel the green light into a uh, plastic tube so that you get a nice bright green light when the power is connected and then there's the uh, the sounder there's the uh, lines to allow the sound to go through we'll just take that cover off there that pops over here and that plastic one there goes into that pla plastic tube
and that's basically it. I'll screw that back together. You don't need to be see, waste time watching me screw that back together. And that's basically it. Um, the base plate is screwed to the ceiling, and there's just a little slot where you slide a flathead screwdriver in, and it pushes that clip up. And then that allows you to push the whole smoke alarm that way and slide out of the base plate. Very easy to do. Don't force it off or pull the whole thing out. Just make sure you find the slot. There is only one slot for you to get a flathead screwdriver. And that is basically it. There is nothing else really that goes wrong with this particular brand of smoke alarm. They're absolutely fantastic as long as you keep the bugs out. So uh, I think now every year, year or so I'm going to pull them off. Just make sure that the bugs are all blasted out. So we have the doors and windows open here a lot because the temperature is quite warm so obviously there's a lot more opportunity for the bugs to get in but uh, brilliant smoke alarm optical is the best the ionizing ones in the tropics just really give too many false alarms and with this particular brand we've had basically no false alarms apart from the odd bug getting past that little net and that's been the only problem so highly recommend